Hi there. Welcome to this video on test driven development. What we'll look at in this video is the theory behind test driven development. In subsequent videos, we'll look at a few examples of me doing test driven development. Um, let's get started. What is test driven development? Okay. Actually, test driven development is just the opposite of what we do usually. What we do usually is we write code and then write the test to test the code or we write code and then do some kind of screen testing or UI testing to test that particular piece of code. Um, test driven development actually reverses that. So what we do is actually write the test first and then code. Okay. I'm saying it right. You write the test first and then write the code to make that test pass. So uh, test driven development, I would say is kind of different thinking, but it's proven to work. So what you're thinking is from outside the system first, thinking of how to test it, and then you'd write the code to make it work. Test driven development actually has been proven to improve your design. Um, okay, all that is complicated stuff for later. For a start, you can think of test driven development as three steps, red, green, refactor. So you don't have a piece of code, so first thing you'd write is the first test condition for that particular thing. So let's I have uh, a method which I have to write and I would probably identify the conditions which I have to write and probably identify one of the conditions and write the test for it. So that's red. So because if you run that test, the code would fail, the test would fail. So that's red. Green is when you write the piece of code that is needed to make the test pass. So I had a failing test. And now I write the code to make the test pass. That's green. So that's the step green. The last step is actually refactor where uh, I need to make the code adhere to four principles of simple design. Um, if you don't know what four principles of simple design are, you, look, you can look at the other videos in the channel and you can look at the links. It has the video to four principles of simple design. So the third step is actually making the code better. One of the things about making the code better is to make it adhere to four principles of simple design, at least. And most important thing also is to keep it green. That's basically it should the test should always be passing while you refactor the code. So these are the three steps about TDD. The first step, as we said, is red, green, refactor. And red is about writing a failing test. So you write a failing test first, and then you write code to make that test pass and then you refactor to make the code and test better. Most important thing is at the refactor stage you have you can refactor both the test and the code. So even the test is a piece of code which you are going to maintain over a period of time and it should be clear enough. So you would go ahead and refactor the test as well and the code as well. So that's basically what test driven development is all about. Uh, there are three more laws about test driven development. Um, that's basically to say like how much code that you can write to make a test fail. So that's uh, the three laws of test driven development. The first law is no production code without failing test. So if you don't see a red bar, then you're not going to code. So that's basically what it means. Uh, if you, you write new piece of code only when you see the red bar. So only when there is a failing test, you write new code. And when you add a new test, it should be a small test. You should not write probably five, six conditions of tests at the same time. What the way it should be is you add a small piece of test, probably one small condition. And then the next step, you write just enough code to write, make the test pass. So as soon as you write the test, you write the code which is needed to make that test pass. So you write a small test and write the small piece of code to make it pass. And you follow this in a cycle. So the, these are the three laws of TDD. Actually, like I can add in a fourth law which says all these three steps, like the three steps of uh, TDD, which is red, green, refactor, usually you should be able to run within two minutes. In two minutes, I should be able to do the three things. That's basically add a failing test, write code to make it pass, and then refactor. So that's basically what all TDD is all about. Uh, TDD is a little different. So you will look at examples in the next video. So if you're getting started with TDD, there are 
few important things that you need to uh, keep in mind. One is you have made the right choice. Actually, test driven development is proven to be a success and it leads to maintainable code, understandable code, and it's known to improve your productivity. Uh, the productivity improvement is more like after you get a little experience with uh, test driven development. Obviously, with anything that you pick up new, let's say you are picking, picking up a new design technique or you are doing some framework for the first time, you'd be slow to start with. The same is the case with test driven development. It's a different kind of thinking because uh, we look from outside to inside how to test first and then write the code for it. So it's different type kind of thinking. It takes time to get used of get. It takes time to get used to it. Typically, I see people take about two to three months to get used to the test driven development. So please, at least give it two to three months before you give up on test driven development. Uh, one important thing is also to go out and get a mentor so that whenever you have a question about test driven development, you have something to somebody to ask a question and also have fun. We found test driven development actually makes it a fun to be a developer. Uh, let's end this video here. Uh, in the next video, let's look at a couple of examples of how to do TDD. Okay then. Bye. We are creating more videos as we speak and if you want to stay updated, don't forget to click the subscribe button. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to share this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time.